Today I'm going to show you how to make a really good steak with only 5 minutes of prep time. The idea is to be able to come home and pick one out of the freezer anytime you want and be able to cook and have a steak anytime you like. What I recommend to do is buy a lot of steaks at once in bulk and freeze them individually. So anytime you want a steak, you can just pull one out of the freezer and defrost it and have your steak. Now in order to do this properly without the taste not being affected by the freezing, you need to wrap them properly and defrost them properly. If you bought your meat in bulk, you'll want to wrap them up properly uh, so you can put them in the freezer. So the way I would do them is to just, uh, you know, just do a pocket method. Make sure all the air is out. And then when, by the time you get to the end here, push it real good. And there you have it. Let's say you want a steak, so just pull one out of the freezer. A steak of this size is about 0.7 pounds. I would recommend to use the auto defrost option in the microwave. And usually, uh, if you specify 0.7 pounds, it might try to overcook the, the meat. Uh, you don't want to cook the meat at all in the microwave, you just want to defrost it. So when in doubt, just use half the weight as the actual weight of the meat. You just want it to not be frozen. So I'm sure everyone has their own favorite seasoning for steaks, but since I want to make this in 5 minutes, I'm going to use some pre-made uh, seasoning mix for steak and some Himalayan pink sea salt and some Worcestershire sauce. I want to put this in because it has a bit of liquid and it, I tend to think that uh, if you put liquid in it, it'll get absorbed a bit better. I'll put some of this on here, generously rub it down. Just a little bit more salt would do. I'm using a grill pan on the largest heat setting. You can see that it's starting to smoke. So I'll just oil the pan a little bit. Just put on the steak. So I'm gonna cook it in this orientation for 45 seconds and then rotate it 45 degrees for another 45 seconds. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna turn it a little bit to make those crisscross lines. Now I'll flip it over. So I've seared it a minute and a half on each side so that you get a nice smoky flavor. But it's still rare in the middle. But I'm gonna finish it off by putting it in the oven for 350 degrees and for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then that would allow the heat to slowly soak into the middle and make it medium rare. Okay, now it's done. Okay, now it's done. So let's see how it looks like in the middle. It's, a, it's more like medium, so maybe I can dial it back maybe only 10 minutes in the oven instead. Alright, look at that. So that only took 5 minutes of cooking and 15 minutes of waiting around. If you have any other methods that you use, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.